Right, it's time for parenting tips and uh, parenting teen children, adult children can be a challenge but I can also have the, uh, you know, the rewards or whatever and relationships have a lot to do with that. Tell us a little bit about what we're going to be talking about. Right, so uh, you know all of us are children of someone, mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. of parents and, and so as we transition, as we get older and as we become, become adults, um, our relationship changes with our parents, especially mm -hmm. in our minds. Sure. And uh, sometimes in our parents' minds we're still seen as, as that little kid and mm -hmm. so um, it takes work on both parties to, to be able to um, figure out what works for everyone. Sure. You know? Absolutely. It's kind of, uh, you know, I was the oldest in my family to young parents. Mm -hmm. And I remember that uh, the time when I was able to argue back with my dad and win. You know that, mm -hmm. that moment? I really remember that moment of being able to, you know, battle it out and win. And it does have a lot to do with that relationship and, and the stages that you get to with your parents. But I do know that having a good relationship with my parents, which I did, uh, you know, made a huge difference in the choices I made later on in life. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things I kind of harp on with um, a lot of people in, in a lot of different ways, not just professionally, sure. is, is to develop relationships with, with people so that, um, one, you want your kids, um, you're still the parent, but you want your children to be able to approach you and uh, tell you about issues and problems that are going on in, in school, especially as they get into teenage years, as they're making heavy decisions for their lives, college and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. And if you're so distant, if there's th that sort of gap there, they're not going to approach you and, and uh, you're going to probably feel some frustration and kind of wonder what's going on in their lives and they're going to feel the same way. It's like, well, you know, here I am and making these huge decisions and, and my parents aren't a part of what I'm doing. So. Absolutely. Uh, do you have any um, advice to kind of help with with parents who maybe don't have a great relationship with mm -hmm. their teenagers and adult kids to kind of get in there and, and to, um, to form that bond. Mm -hmm. One of the easiest ways is doing small, like you're going to the store, you're going on a trip somewhere, mm -hmm. and just that time in the car. Okay. It's fairly free of distractions, mm -hmm. you know, you can turn down the radio and just ask, you know, s small things. My uh, kids give me a hard time because I well, you know, ask bigger questions, but you yeah. know, just how things are at school, or who do you like, you know, or what's happened, and yeah. just one little part. And then also to have those expectations as a as a uh, parent that um, they may not tell you everything right at once, and that you're probably going to have to glean that knowledge over time, and, mm -hmm. and developing um, some things that they like to do. Put them yourself, if they like to play video games, go play a video game. Even okay. if you're horrible at it, mm -hmm. at least, you know, you're there and sort of mm -hmm. interacting with them. Absolutely. We're some really great advice, and we'll actually have this video on our website, but if people have more information or actually need a little help with counseling, mm -hmm. how can they get a hold of you? They can uh, call it us at 237-3880. Uh, okay. Thanks so much, Marty. Mm -hmm. and right